What is up everybody, this is Ronnie and in this video I want to show you how you can create a fake blur behind your portraits in Canva. Alright, so this tutorial is for pro users only. Okay, so you will need a feature from the pro subscription which is background remover. So I just want you to be aware of that, that this is only for paid users of Canva. So for pro subscribers, uh, I don't think there is a way you can do that uh, without the pro subscription because you will need the background remover. The alternative would be to use the website uh, remove.bg to get rid of the background of your photo and import that back into Canva. So you can do that if you have a, a Canva free account or if you are a pro account, you can use a background remover. All right, so let's jump right in. I'm going to create a presentation document. But again, here, the style of document doesn't really matter. And what we are going to go for is a nice photo, a nice portrait of yourself uh, with a background. OK, so let's go ahead and find one. Go in my uploads or actually I have some of the photos of myself with a background. So photos of Ronnie. Let's see what do we have here. <laughs> we have a bunch of different photos. Let's use this one with the donkey. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe this one. Okay, That's one of our shootings in Africa earlier next year, uh, last year. This is pretty cool. So the first step is to position your photo in your canvas. Okay. And then the next thing I want to do is to apply the remove background effect on this photo. So let's see. Okay, we have it here. All right. So the first thing you need to do is to duplicate this photo. Okay. Now duplicating the photo, I have the exact same photo right here. I'm going to be moving it slightly uh, to the bottom. So we see we have two different photos and I'm going to apply my effect. So clicking on the photo, going to the effect and then background remover. That is if you are a pro subscriber, don't freak out if you don't see this. It just means you are not on the Canva pro subscription. So I'm clicking on it and background remover will do its thing and get rid of my background hopefully perfectly. Takes a couple of seconds because it's a hard job. <laughs> So let's see. Yep, I have my background removed. So what I will do, I just add a new page and simply drag this here. OK, so we can see there's a little bit of the photo that's been left over here. So I can head to my background remover. Do I have the ability to get rid of this? OK, so this little bit that has not been removed is a little bit problematic. But what I can do is simply crop this image for now. I know it's not ideal, but uh, this is the way you do it. So now I have myself uh, without the background here and I still have myself with the background on this one. So now I can go back to my original photo now that I have my Ronnie uh, without a background right here. Go back to my original photo and I will use the adjust button. Of course, I need to click on it, adjust, and then I will add some blur to this photo. Slightly blurring the photo, kind of like this. Perfect. And now we are almost there, just bringing my photo back. And the trick is to simply position the photo exactly where it was and you see you can now adjust the background you can get rid of the saturation if you want to create some cool effects like black and white uh, with only your photo sticking out uh, you could you could um, blur it more but then kind of loses a bit of its wow effect uh, you could add some kind of effects like you can really play around with this add a vignette it's really up to you but uh, for me, I like to desaturate so I can create this kind of effect. And on top of that, what you could do is to add another effect on your photo without the background. You could uh, use a duotone effect, for example, to kind of even make it more funky or to make it more pop. So just like this, you add one more effect. You can apply it. And again, Canva will have to process a little bit, but then 
yes, you have something like this. But the idea of this tutorial was to show you, okay, I can go to effects, go back to my duo tones, and I go with none. I can go back. So the whole purpose of this tutorial was to show you how you can easily blur the background behind any portrait of yourself. Uh, so the way to do that is to duplicate your photo, then remove the background on one of the photos, and then uh, simply go back to the first one, blur the background and reposition. And then you drag your photo without a background onto the photo that you just blurred. You position them exactly so that you are at the exact same spot uh, on both photos, but the background has been blurred on the, the base photo, I would say. Okay, I also feel like I have to kind of give my sources for this tutorial. I have been inspired by another person in my group, in my community, who is also a CCC, and that person is Sandy, Sandy Sevilla. She's the first person I've seen publishing a tutorial talking about this technique and I thought it was pretty cool. So why not uh, create another tutorial and share it with you guys because I think this effect could be very interesting and uh, it's a very creative one. So I hope you liked this video. Thank you Sandy for the inspiration and for the rest, you can uh, continue watching more tutorials by clicking on one of the tutorial you see on screen right now, or you can subscribe to the channel if you're watching us on YouTube for never missing any of our future videos. And for the rest, I wish you a very good day and I will see you in the next video.